So winning the Laris Award means a lot to me based on the achievement that I have done last year. And to be amongst all those athletes in different sports, I am super proud. It is special, especially to be the second athlete to be in the Caribbean to win this award. I think Usain Bolt had won it before. And to bring this trophy back home in the Caribbean, it is very special. I cannot just sit and say, okay, I'm the double Olympic champion, I'm the five-time Olympic gold medalist. I have to continue keeping working, you know. I told myself that I want to be the greatest female sprinter, so to sit and talk about to be the double Olympic champion, you know, that is last year. I'm just going to focus on what the future has for for me. In track and field, time do fluctuate, you know, and sometimes you run your PB super hard to try to hit that target back, you know, because it takes a lot of work. I was running 10.7 for years, and to run below 10.7 twice, it was an amazing job that I have done, but looking back now, I would not put no pressure on myself to say, okay, I want to break the world record. You know, it do takes a lot of work, and when I find that day and that track, I would say I would target it, but I would not put the world championship on the spot and say, I'm going to break the world record on the world championship day. Wherever I can take it, I will do that before the time. If it takes two years, five years, I'll still try to break it, but I will not apply any pressure to myself because the work has to continue. I think last year I ran everything relaxing, not thinking about world titles or world record. And if I can repeat that, not putting any pressure on myself and repeat what I have done last year, doing even better, I think it's reachable.